welcome to lecture 6 in the today's class we are going to solve all the questions of aptitude which were asked in gate 2023 in gg ma pe xc and excel paper now the aptitude questions in all these papers are common since they were conducted on the same date same shift so now let us see the very first question the first question in front of a screen check it out i will give you 30 seconds very easy question the village was nestled in a green spot dash the ocean and the hills option a through option b in option c at option d between what do you mean by nestled settled within in a green spot okay so what would be the answer 5 4 3 2 1 correct answer is d between why let us see first step is to understand the meaning of the word i just gave you the meaning of nestled this means settled within so your village is settled within a green spot dash the ocean and the hills it cannot be in the ocean how can you have a village in the ocean so therefore b is wrong it cannot be at the ocean because there is no village at the ocean so c is also wrong and then uh, you can say that uh, through doesn't make sense here through the ocean and the hills no between the ocean and the hills makes sense therefore delhi is correct easy question next question one more easy verbal ability question check it out 30 seconds you will get disagree is to protest what is the relationship going on between the two words same relationship should happen between agree and dash so tell me is it refuse pretext recommend refute in this easy question you have to save time so that you can invest the time in the tough questions always remember 80% paper would be easy to moderate 20% questions are only tough so the time is up the correct answer is sir disagree is to protest they are synonym they are synonyms also you can frame a sentence like this i disagree with the government rules or government policy so will do protest can you see i have used the word disagree and protest in the sentence so they are synonyms i disagree with the government policy so i will protest and if i change disagree with agree as per this question if you change disagree with agree then what is this sentence saying now i agree with government policy so will accept it accept is your answer whereas option c is refuse which is antonyms refute is also a denial so deny so if it is wrong pretext is uh, excuse to do something so this is out of context for this question what is pretext excuse to do something so this is out of context and recommend is absolutely correct so recommend is the right answer let us move forward for the next question the next question in front of a screen very tricky question be cautious while solving the question a fractious number is defined as three digit number with all digits odd and no two adjacent digits being the same for example 137 is a fractious number while 133 is not how many such fractious number exist a b c or d after re reading this question some students are like sir this is permutation combination question very easy question why you are saying it's a tricky okay very easy question agreed so solve you can solve this in 45 seconds you have last 15 seconds to go three digit number how many such numbers who are a fractious number definition is given already come on 5 4 3 to 1 you would have commented sir the answer is 60 and yes that is the trap that's what i told in the start it's a tricky question the answer is not 60 the answer is 80 but how you got 60 check it out you would be doing this calculation listen to the trap carefully you are saying sir it's a three digit number and every digit should be odd so 1 3 5 7 9 
only this digits can be used so first position how many possible ways to fill this position five anyone can come here what's next sir check it out 137 is a frabjus number 133 is not a frabjus number so by the example it feels like oh every digit should be unique there should be no repetition and they were saying also that adjacent digits being the same is not allowed so no two adjacent digits can be same oh so distinct so you are like in the next place now out of this five only four choices are left since repetition not allowed so four and finally the number which came here cannot be used in the last the number came here cannot be used in the last so you would be like only three choices left right now so five into four into three 20 into three 60 yes 60 is the wrong answer why 60 is wrong because first and last digit can be same adjacent cannot be same is the requirement check it out in the question they are saying three digit number all the digits should be odd and no two adjacent digit being the same but first and last can be same understood now the problem was in the example in the example it feels like oh the example is such that all the digits are unique we have to consider that case and this 60 is the answer for all the digits being unique understood Hence, this is wrong. The correct answer is first and last can repeat. So take that scenario also. So the correct answer is first position. Anyone can come one, three, five, seven, nine. So there are five choices. And then we have since adjacent cannot be same. So for the next, there are only four choices left. And then here, remember adjacent cannot be same. So in this position, the five digits were one, three, five, seven, nine okay anyone can come but adjacent should not come so one choice is gone only four choices are left so four choices are left in that way you can say the first and last can have same digits but the adjacent cannot have the same digits understood now and finally if you multiply everything you will get the answer the answer is 5 into 4 20 20 into 4 80 so yes 80 is absolutely correct very good question easy but tricky Check it out. The next question in front of a screen, again a one minute question. Which one among the following statement must be true about the mean and median of the scores of all candidates appearing for GATE 2023? Option A, the median is at least as the mean. Option B, the mean is at least as large as the median. Option C, at most half of the candidates have a score that is larger than the median. Option D, at most half of the candidates have a score that is larger than the mean. So among this, which one is correct? If you see carefully, this is the question based out of statistics and we have solved a lot of questions recently on statistics. 2023 examiner favorite topic was statistics. Even in engineering mathematics, we have seen the questions on statistics. Even in aptitude, we have seen. Come on, last 15 seconds to go. So the data says in gate exam, 18% students only qualify. So Gate score, 0 to 1000, minimum 0, maximum 1000, number of students, then only 18% get the qualifying. So it's not symmetric distribution, it's a skewed distribution. Plot that, you will get the answer. Okay, so let me plot it and let me tell you why the correct answer is Calcutta. Check it out. At most half of the candidates have a score that is larger than the median. At most half, it cannot be more than that. But how and why? Let us see. This is your gate score. Okay. And this is your number of students. Number of gate 2023 students. This is zero. This is maximum 1000 gate score. If you plot it, a lot of students are such who even did not qualify the gate exam. And then you get very less number of students who will touch the thousand score. In this way, the graph is distributed. And if this is the distribution, you know, this is what the tail of the mouse is going to the right hand side. So it's a rightly skewed graph or positively skewed graph. Talking about the mean median mode, this is the peak. So this is your mode in between is median and finally this is your mean remember that this value is mode this value is median this value is mean not the above values okay not the above moving forward 
what they need they are saying that median is at least as the mean trying to make them same they cannot be same in any sense when you have the skewed graph it was if it was a symmetric graph then it would have been same but uh, median and mean even in the option b they are trying to make it same the mean is as as large as the median okay at least as large as the median no you cannot make them same okay so a and b is wrong talking about c and d c is talking about at most half the candidates have a score that is larger than median okay half the candidate have a score which is at most half the candidate have a score which is larger than median okay it can be true okay maximum this size is 50 percent maximum okay it can be true talking about uh, d at most half the candidates have a score that is larger than the mean larger than the mean is this now this is not like at most 50 percent no this is very less check it out this portion looks like almost uh, 70 80 percent right and this part would be right 30 40 percent but it cannot be at most 50 percent 50 percent doesn't make sense from median yes it makes sense check it out from median yes it makes sense but from mean it's it doesn't make any sense okay so if they are saying at most half the candidates have a score that is larger than mean that doesn't make any sense it was around 30 to 40 percent hardly roughly and for the median yes it makes sense so Calcutta is correct let us move forward for the next question very easy I won't give the timer for this question check it out in the given diagram ovals are marked at different heights h of a hill which one of the following option p q r n s depicts the top view of the hill now this is the hill you can see then there are ovals inside this is zero distance this is uh, one kilometer in distance then this is the height if you see from the top how does it look now p q r s p q r s which option so the trick here is the trick here is if i draw a line if i take the center of oval here i take center of oval here i draw a line if i draw a line then i clearly see from the origin the first half is small okay from origin the first half is small and then later half is very big very big this kind of scenario from or looking from the origin first we have small distance of oval and then the bigger distance where is it if i check here in the option p that's a straight line here big distance and then small it's reverse this is not the answer it's reverse okay then q line here from zero we have small first and then the big yes it makes sense q makes sense so q is correct done and dusted but still if you check the rest r is talking about a symmetric oval same same distance no it doesn't make any sense so r is wrong and this is overlapped ovals which is not possible check it out how is it possible that you will get some intersections between the ovals it's not possible because of the different distances between them right small big 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 very big so there cannot be this kind of intersections hence uh, s is wrong r is wrong p is wrong q is correct bombay is correct let us move forward for the next question one of the toughest question of this paper a lot of students had doubt on this question okay read the question carefully and then comment on the answer residency is a famous housing complex with many well-established individuals among its residents a recent survey conducted among the residents of the complex revealed that all of those residents who are well established in their respective fields happens to be academicians the survey also revealed that most of these academicians are author of some best-selling books based only on the information provided above which one of the following statement can be logically inferred with certainty with 100 percent surety option a some residents of the complex who are well established in their fields are also authors of some best-selling books option b all academicians residing in the complex are well established in their fields option c some authors of best-selling books are residents of the complex who are well established in their fields option d some academicians residing in the complex are well established in their fields so a b c or d which one is correct if you see carefully this data has many things to offer first there are lots of residents among them some are well established many or some is kind of similar words okay so not all 
what does many and some means that not 100 percent so some of them are well established among those well established uh, the data is uh, linked with academicians and then the academicians is linked with the best-selling books authors so connect this four stuff and then think which option is correct and you might spend two minutes now drawing the diagram venn diagram and then seeing this option checking with the venn diagram then you will spend three minute four minute five minute still you won't be able to arrive at the right answer you might you might be thinking sir b is definitely wrong but a c d it seems to be correct what to do now if that happens in your paper as well then don't waste much time two minute three minute maximum three to four minute you should not go above three to four minute that's all because sometimes the gate examiner is wrong like in this question the gate examiner was wrong the actual question should be from the uh, information given above which one of the following statement is definitely false definitely false statement is this only therefore this option is correct but here they were asking us which of the following can be inferred which of the statements are correct so a is correct c is correct d is correct hence ultimately students challenged and they got free marks this is marks to all you mark it you do not mark it everyone will get the answer or oh, i mean everyone will get the marks okay so it's marks to all but in the actual exam it uh, wasted a lot of time for a lot of students so yes that is the sad part of this paper it's not just for the gate 2023 it's also for gate 2022 and 2021 we have seen a lot of times gate examiner don't verify the answers and they don't check the detailed solution or the contradictions in the questions they just said the questions and then further they say challenge us if you feel something went wrong and then we'll refund you if you are right nevertheless yes it's marks to all but i will try to explain you why it's marks to all first of all there are lots of residents 